Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, we're going to start off with love and then we'll go into maybe some career and finance. All right, so let's see what's going on. How does Aquarius feel about love? The tower. So after it all falls down, you're seeing, you're seeing things clearly. There's room to heal. Once you release and you let go, some of you were holding on so tight to false pretense, false relationship, shit that was built on just falsehood. It just was never going to work, but you just kept trying to hold on to it. It was like, finally something happened again because the tower talks about historical reference, right? And uh, so this is something that kept resurfacing in the relationship. like you keep finding numbers in the person's phones and you keep seeing that they're texting other people or they keep ghosting you or they keep making plans and not showing up or whatever, you know, you finally get it. And in, in getting it, now you can release. What is the tower for Aquarius? The Ace of Pentacles. All right. So all of a sudden now it's opportunity after. I don't know if you have like some. An event happens where it brings you clarity. It's like you were in the dark about a particular person. You get the clarity that you need. And then everything falls down and now it, there's opportunity to rebuild. There's uh, not to rebuild. It's opportunity to maybe even heal, start something new. It's opportunity for growth, to meet someone new. It's opportunity for you to actually come into some self prophecy or self actualization. What is this? This is opportunity maybe even to meet someone new. Someone that could be the one that you could have marriage, kids, home, all of the above with. It's just about how you come off in the relationship, how you show up. Are you emotionally mature? Are you ready? Six of Swords, have you gotten over the hurt from previous relationships? Are you still carrying the baggage? Have you gotten over that self sabotaging energy where you kind of self destruct or you walk away or you lash out? Have you gotten over that? Have you really moved on from past situations where you weren't going to get what you wanted? If you have, it looks like you can get what you want. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment. Firstly, emotional stability all by yourself. And then maybe getting a wish fulfilled by way of wishing for. Typically when you wish for something is because you you don't have it, right? You're without it. So some of your wishes could be to find somebody, that life partner. Someone that you'll marry, maybe even a twin flame. Someone who is willing to work with you to have growth, nurturing, caring. So it's like on the other side of letting something to go, Aquarius, you can really have what you want. All of a sudden you may see it's been you this entire time holding yourself up, holding yourself back from, yeah, message of concern. So maybe that's that tower that comes and it, it, it brings you to a place of like thought provoking something is thought provoking into where you have to make sense of something 
then you move in a different direction. Yeah, it's like you realize that somebody is false. They're they're not right. They're everything about them is just untrue. Everything is unclear. Everything is foggy. Everything is is mystery. And it's hard work. It's been hard work dealing with this person. You know, it hasn't been easy. I mean, we know that love comes with its challenges, but damn. Yeah, and they're petty. And it's always going to be pettiness, peskiness. It's always going to, it's like they're a, a honey badger or a weasel. It's like they're always doing something. It's like you come into understanding your worth, Aquarius. How does a particular person that Aquarius is dealing with, you also understand that you weren't the only person here. And that's why it was pesky. It was petty. It was argumentative. It was all of those things because this person wasn't, they wasn't completely faithful to you. How does uh, a person that Aquarius is thinking about, how does this person feel about Aquarius? The person, Knight of Pentacles, so they feel like with you, so they aren't moving, but they want to make a move. They want to talk to you. They want to explore and see how far they can get with you. They want you to reach out. They could even be doing like some type of magic. They feel like you, you know, you're standing still. You're living life on your own terms. Um, they could feel like you are more focused on career, finance, work, yourself, um, business, luxury items astrology learning about self knowing thyself they feel like you ten of pentacles you, you you're everything you're abundant you're flourishing you're fulfilling uh, you know long-term uh goals or you're getting recognition they feel like you're getting everything that you deserve they feel like you do the right thing with the justice card here This person could feel indebted to you too. Like they want to apologize to you. They could feel karmically indebted to you. Yeah. They want to make up with you. The only way they know how to make up with you is trying to have sex with you to get you wrapped up in that. You get your emotions wrapped up in the connection again. They know that you're dedicated. You're loyal. You're fixed. You're fixed energy. So they can just get you back. The judgment card at the bottom of the deck if they could just get you to make the decision to have them back with the judgment card then they know they're at least they're at halfway home stretch if they can just get you to absolve them forgive them move forward make a fast decision on them don't think about it don't toy on it too much or or uh Terry or whatever that word is. They don't want you to think about nothing. They just want you to do. They want you to act. What does this person want from Aquarius? What does this person want from Aquarius? They want, uh, yeah, all of a sudden they just want you back. They want you to act quick, fast, and in a hurry. All of a sudden they have all this rush of feelings. For you, they could be coming after your fortune. What do they want? They want to be the official person, maybe to your fortune. 11, 22, master numbers. They want a new start. They want to come in with something small to see, to kind of fill you out. They're hoping that you release them or, or release all the hurt that you feel towards them or the uh, anguish. Uh, they're hoping that uh, you guys can not fulfill those dreams that you talked about in the future. They want you to make them number one. They, they feel like maybe you have other options, but they want you to make them number one. They could want to marry you, but it could be for all the wrong reasons. What is going on here for Aquarius? Why should Aquarius accept this person back like can Aquarius trust this person let's see it's going to be hard because now you see clear to 
you can see clear about their agenda. And, and I feel like you I feel like your your trust has been broken. Everything has been broken. It's um you feel like this person is hard to handle and they're live wire. You just don't know what you're gonna get with them. And again, you're seeing through to them. You're seeing that maybe you're just too kind. And this person is maybe a fast thinker, fast talker. Wow, as I say that, they're a con man, a fraud, a liar. Everything they say is cap or a lie. But they look at you as a safety net. But they know that you're angry with them for the things that they've done, how they've been unkind to you. You were kind, they were unkind. Especially if you are a feminine energy or the feminine energy was unkind to you. They feel like you were soft, you know, and that was likable. At this point, they feel like they, they might be depressed or they know that they had you depressed because of all the promises that they made. They see you getting all that you deserve or that you're deserving. This person just wants to come and usurp, just take, they don't, is, can Aquarius trust this person? Let's see. Can Aquarius trust this person coming to them? They might have gotten like some spiritual clarity. Queen of Cups, yes, you can trust that they are, they're finally getting it. They're finally waking up. Should Aquarius give this person another chance? Always get a your own personal reading. Page of Swords, the Nine of Swords. They're still going through like some dark night of the soul. It says yes, but it's delayed. Delayed news or delayed action. Like you shouldn't be making any moves toward them, Aquarius. Let them come to you. They're still frantic. They're still manic. They're still depressed. They're still... Um, going through that phase that they need to go through to heal to examine themselves so don't disturb that by going to them and taking them out of that what's the advice for Aquarius dealing with this person yeah leave them alone the hangman and the hierophant they need guidance and they're getting that guidance um, they're seeing things from a different perspective. They're seeing the part that they played. They're seeing that maybe it was their fault. Um, they're getting some uh, uh, enlightenment. They're turning the situation on its head and they're, they're no longer pointing the finger. They're pointing it at themselves. They could be getting spiritual guidance or they, they need this or they could be getting like uh, counsel, counselor, therapist, some, something or someone is guiding them to betterment, to being better. And their major arcana feels like the universe trying to push them. Let's see what career and finance offers Aquarius. So Aquarius, it says do nothing, hang back, don't go towards them, don't mess up what they need to go through. They need to feel, you know, they need to feel the void of not having you in their life. They need to look at themselves. They need to look at their actions. They need to suffer the consequence of their actions. They need to sacrifice something in their life so that they can... Um, be upright so that they can um, choose right things or valuable or know how to place value. What is career and finance for this for Aquarius? Some of you are starting something new. It could be a creative endeavor, two of cups, ace of cups with the two of fire. So some of you are at a place of making the decision to actually do this. You could even be partnering with. there's some more information you need to gather or you're waiting for a yes answer maybe for a loan or some money it looks like you will have victory 
whatever this money is, it's coming to you maybe in the fall, autumn season. Um, it says take your emotions out of this and continue to do the work. The Eight of Pentacles, some of you are starting business here. Just continue. Don't, because it's going to get you to the King of Pentacles. Stay focused. Don't let your emotions and your thoughts get the best of you to where you're no longer focused. Be directed in that energy of uh, overcoming. Fulfill the short-term goals. Break your goals down into short-term goals. And then long-term, there will be cause to celebrate, to get together. You'll get that project. You'll get that recognition, that promotion. Wow. Career and finance looks amazing. You might be in a competitive place, but it looks like you persevere, you win, you take the high road, you rest on your principles and your morals, therefore you win. Some of you definitely are starting something new with the Empress here. New business, new job, promotion, all of those things. It's gonna bring you a lot of happiness, the highest level of happiness. The stage is set for happiness engage in it Aquarius career and finance looks amazing this person coming back they still want to tell you something what does this person want to tell Aquarius they're not talking to you this might be an energy of you guys being apart king of swords they're making a head over heart decision about who they want to be with, the five of wands, about this love affair, about this childish behavior, about them keeping up so much energy surrounding them, about their frisky ways, the knight of wands, about them not being able to settle down. They could be learning, page of swords. They need to, they need to learn. They need to learn how to be settled. They're always thinking of what to say to you. The Page of Swords, they're telling you that um, there's fear, there's anxiety, there's unrest, there's bad choices made, there's entrapment, there's sex, drugs, and rock and roll. This person was low vibrational, living in that dark place, but they're trying to heal or come out of it make decisions for the future they have a lot of people that they deal with and they know they need to make a decision of who they really want they do desire you they see you in the big picture they see the part that they played in this the relationships breakdown they see how you always try to make it work you would hang yourself upside down to make the relationship work you would contort yourself you would maneuver yeah they're seeing your value and they're absolutely heartbroken over you and they couldn't have even cry real tears or they are crying they don't like the isolation that you put them in like you can't come towards me until they don't like the lack of communication between the two of you they see how significant you are how great you are how with you it was simpler times they want to connect backwards and they're connecting backwards and seeing and feeling that you know this is it felt like home it felt good yeah amidst all of the distractions now they see the truth they're seeing the truth of the matter clarity They're absolutely devastated at the fact that you won't have anything to do with them right now. Or this came out of nowhere and it devastated them. That when you left, you put them back in the dark place. You are the sunshine. You are the light in their life. They could be engaging, overindulging, drinking, eating, just trying not to feel all of these emotions knowing that they need to make a choice about which cup are they going to pull from but they could be procrastinating a lot of wishful thinking but no action
lastly what does this person want to tell Aquarius now they get it they're understanding some of them are stalking you uh, what does this person want to tell Aquarius they were either in love with two people or they were of two minds like they thought they would could be with you and then they thought they wanted to be single they weren't rational or they want to be rational now yeah this person had somebody and then they were trying to make something work with you it could have been that they were cheating you know with you while somebody was pregnant someone could be african-american sometimes it could stand for you know dark or black they are in a dark place they want to text you they look at the past text messages They don't like this platonic, this friend zone stuff. Whatever was happening with a friend, they want you to know that it was all true. If you thought that they were sleeping with a friend, they were. What is, oh shoot. Okay. This person is now obsessed with you. They stare at your picture for hours. Um, hang on. They want to come with the theatrics. They want to put on a show. Hopefully, you'll pay. Uh, they know that you told them, look, don't talk to me anymore. Or they don't like the fact that they can't talk to you anymore. They feel like this is theatrics from you, too. Like, they don't, they feel like you're just saying something you don't mean it but they absolutely obsessed now that you have withdrawn they don't understand why you would leave them people don't leave them they leave people what's the future energy for aquarius and this person If, they, if you let them come back now, see, all they're feeling right now is that poverty. They feel impoverished without you. So they feel lack. They feel like they're less than nothing. But if you let them come back now, you will not be the only woman. They will, or the only man. They will hide this from you. They also could like both sexes so they could be sleeping with a friend. You know, acting like they're just a friend, but they're not. They could act like they're, they changed and matured, but they have not. You will not be the only person in their life um, that they are, you know, giving their time, energy, sex, devotion to. But they will definitely try to hide it from you as best as possible. This is just a person who... You've made a real imprint on them because it looks like the relationship was significant. Then we have the lovers come out. There's some significance about this relationship and they didn't take to the connection. They chose something or somebody else over you. And in doing that, you know, when you do, when you don't follow the, the lovers, we don't choose the right lover. And this is a significant relationship, like the lover's card comes out. Um, it has long lasting implications. Like you never forget that person. You can go get married, you can have a child, but you never forget that person that you didn't choose because that's what you should have chosen. And the, I guess the punishment for that is never really letting that person go Aquarius I don't know how long this person gonna stalk your reading I don't know if they're gonna come towards you and actually say something I don't know if they could ever live up to be the person you need them to be all I know is that they are in a real dark place they are happy um 
the cards say don't go rescue them let them go through this but we do have free will if you feel like this is your reading go over to the website book there ask a question or two by uh, texting your question to the number below you can also donate to the channel uh, by clicking the buy Ella coffee link catch me live every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday night uh, 9 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, thank you guys many blessings to you take care